and down. You? Uh, uh, what's your name? Piff the Magic Dragon. Piff the Magic Dragon. Right. My name is Piff the Magic Dragon from Las Vegas, Nevada. What do you do? What's your act? I'm a what do you mean, what do I do? I'm a magic dragon. As a magic dragon, doing magic is sort of my reason to be. I mean, I did accounts for a while in the dark years. I sort of went off on my own, but eventually, after I stopped rebelling, I came back and found my true love, card magic. You know, do a few children's parties. Is this a million dollar act? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? My dream is really a uh, big pile of gold, big pile of princesses, me in the middle. Go get them. Have fun, Piff. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. What's your name? My name's Piff the Magic Dragon. You might have heard of my older brother. Steve. <laughs> what are you going to do for us today, Piff? I'm a magic dragon mill. I'm going to do some magic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little bit of magic. And why America's Got Talent? It was either this or Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll be honest, Mel, I don't want to die yet. <laughs> go on, Piff, go for it. You ready? Can I? Heidi, 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 Heidi. Yes. My, wi my wife's actually called Heidi. Yeah? Yeah. And how's that going? That's pretty good. Well, we're, we're, we've only just met. <laughs> Ooh, hello. I'm only kidding, you haven't got a chance. All right, let's give Heidi a round of applause. She joins you on stage. Go get up here, Heidi. Come on. Come on, Heidi, you have to come on stage now. For real, Yeah, please? for real, it's going to happen. You're going to meet a real-life magic dragon, Heidi. Sorry. There's only one of me. I'm the last of the species. <laughs> Come on, Heidi. Oh, yeah. Come on. Heidi, do you have any playing cards? Do you, do you have any playing cards? <laughs> I do. You do? On you? No, I no. don't. Have any Hang on, money. let me just try and find the will to live. No, I don't have it, Heidi. <laughs> All right, Heidi, do you have any playing cards? No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, I got a prediction. It's a prediction. It's not for now, it's for later. Ready? Ready. You're going to touch the back of any one of these cards. Any one of these cards you're going to touch the back of. You touch it. There we go. That, that one just there. Lovely. Honey, let's see how you did this one. You like this one? Yeah. Very good. All right. Do you have a pen? <laughs> it just got real. This is for you. That's it. Uncap, uncap. Lovely. And if you could write your name nice and neatly in the little white space along the top, just in the white space so everyone can see it. That's it, Heidi. Perfect. Lovely. And blow it dry. Oh, a little heart. That's very nice of you. Ebay. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Heidi, before yeah. this, I made a prediction. You chose the King of Hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, my prediction, the seven of spades. So basically, Heidi was wrong. <laughs> it happens, Heidi. But don't worry, Heidi, if I could really do magic, it would look a bit like this. <laughs> Still on the card? It is. It is. This is for you. I keep this? You got, yeah, yeah, it's just $12. Dang it. I don't know how much did you do that. It's genuinely $12. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause to Heidi. He returns back to her judge. Get out of here. That's all I got for you, judges. Oh! That's the deal. Oh, thanks. Okay, so you're, you're standing up I now. Am. I am. How was that for well, you? I'll tell you, that was amazing. It was surprising. I'll tell you why it's surprising, because uh, you're, you're 
<laughs> You're still surprised. Are you hungry? Yeah. This is exactly. Do you want love snacks. Let oh me yeah, just say I love something. Adrian. That's very Are nice you, of you. Just uh, yeah. Pitt. I'll come down. No, no, you stay. I'll come to you. You've been walking up and down all the day. The beauty is this guy is hysterical. What's in there? Well, this early in the morning. You're hysterical, and I, I, I love you, and I think you're you're great. All right, eight dollars. I come and perform in your house. Eight dollars right, right now. House. Yeah, I need to get home. Seriously, I need eight dollars. I've gone down from twelve. It's the best I can do. Give him eight dollars. Story of my life. All right, let's move on. Yeah. So listen, at Piff. Mr. Piff. I, yeah. I, Mr. Piff. Yeah. Mr. Piff. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's be formal. <laughs> the English are very polite. No, you, you have, like, my silly, stupid, ridiculous sense of humour, which I love. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I love especially how friendly you are. Very friendly, Heidi. And how much you smile. No. It's one of my most endearing qualities, I think. And this was very good. I don't know how you did it, but I give you good. a thumbs up. I'm glad you don't know how to do it. Otherwise, it's not magic anymore. <laughs> it's Piff, and he brought a baby. Hi there. Oh, so Good evening. You. you are Piff the Magic Dragon. I'm Piff the Magic Dragon. You do, uh, you do a magic act, is that right? Oh, <laughs> fancy. $500. <laughs> this is Mr. Piffles. Hi, Mr. Piffles. $1,200. <laughs> Hang on. I think I'm going to sneeze. Nice. $74. <laughs> Last time you were here in the audition round, you brought, uh, you brought a volunteer up. Yeah, yeah. I had a little moment. You oh, made eyes at Heidi. Is... Yeah. There's Heidi, someone... do you want to come back up? Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause is Heidi. He joins you back on stage. Perfect. Yeah. Up. Come on, Heidi. OK. Heidi, you're going to reach and you're going to grab any one of these playing cards. Anyone take one out? Anyone? Just one? That's it? You happy with that one? Yep. Now, don't let Mr. Piffles see, OK? Is it no. write your name? Okay. That's it on the front of the card. Put the card back in the deck. Put the card back in the deck. Are you just there? Yep. Remember your card? Yep. Don't forget it. We're going to show it to everyone there. Everybody remember Heidi's card? Mr. Piffles, the world's first magic performing chihuahua, is going to attempt to find Heidi's card using just his sense of smell. Oh, gosh. Heidi, do you like small animals? Yes. You do? I do you do. want a little cuddle? Yes. OK. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. It's the only reason I got a dog, Heidi. But we do need to move on. All right, take him, he's dead to me. There we go. Lovely. No biting, Mr. Piffles. Not in the face again. Now, if Mr. Piffles manages to find Heidi's car, he's going to win a very special prize for a very special doggy, an entire year's supply of dog food. Ooh. You take the food, I'm going to take the doggy. Come on, Mr. Piffles, come on. All right, Mr. Piffles is going to find Heidi's cards. You ready, people? <laughs> Heidi, the playing cards. The playing cards. Here with Mr. Piffles. Mr. Piffles, take it away. So he's going to go through all of the cards. All of the cards that don't smell like Heidi. He's going to take his cards, he's going to throw them out of the case. He's going to rearrange the remaining cards, placing Heidi's card at the 19th position. Throw it up to me, leaving me with one card and one... <laughs> Mr. Pivels has found Heidi's card, and he's changed it. <laughs> into the Ace of Hearts, and he's got rid of Heidi's name. Ta-da! Now what are we going to do? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Pivels, what, what have you got you to say do? for yourself? Oh, Heidi, he says he's very sorry. He says he's on hunger strike. <laughs> he says no food, no card. Don't tell me the card is in this thing. Put the card in your hand. Mm. Don't move. I'll go in. Inside the food. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Piff's a real magician. Oh, oh. nice and clean for you. Oh, this is for you, ladies and gentlemen. Right of course, Heidi. No, it's your yeah. turn. Back to your seat. How about this? <laughs> Heidi, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Get out of here. Piff's getting some action. Nice yeah. job, Piff. Thanks very much. Wow. I mean, you didn't need to.
to kiss me on the lips, you know? <laughs> no, I think I did need to. How, and how was it? Yeah, it was pretty good. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of sandwich are you making? Uh, ham and cheese. Okay. You, and uh, you can't wait till this is finished, or are you? Well, I'm quite hungry. All that dog food made me a bit peckish. So. <laughs> well, I loved. I loved all of it. I love the comedy. I love the, the actual skill you have in magic. I love your attitude. I'm kind of blown away by it, and I think it's great, and I don't think we need to deliberate much, because I'm using my golden buzzer. the golden button. Like, it's gone. Great. Neil, this, you've earned it. That's it. Congratulations. Congratulations, Pip the Magic Dragon. Thanks very much, You are Nick. going straight through to Radio City Music Hall. Outstanding. Let's hear it one more time for Pip the Magic Dragon. Four hermetically sealed boxes. One magic performing chihuahua. Just a single question. Welcome to Dog or No Dog. Above the stage are four boxes, numbered one, two, three, and four. Inside one of those boxes is Mr. Piffles, the world's only magic performing chihuahua. The other three boxes contain the hopes and dreams of Mr. Piffles. In other words, they're empty. Let's welcome tonight's contestant, Howie Mandel. Come on, Howie, come on. Come on, get in here. Have a seat, Howie. All right. There we go. Take a treat. Thank you. You're welcome. You having a good night, Howie? I'm having a fantastic night. Let's change that. Round one. Howie, it's your job to guess, dog or no dog, for each of these boxes. We're going to start with the odds in your favor, Howie. We're going to go for a no dog box first. Which box does not contain Mr. Piffles? Is it just me or is number three slightly swaying? I don't Maybe we're doing that to throw you off scent. So which is it, Howie? I don't... One, two, three or four? Two. Number two does not contain Mr. Piffles? I, I don't know. Let's find out. Box number two, dog or no dog? No! No oh, dog! Oh, my God. Oh! Are you kidding me? One down, three to go. Are you kidding me? Are you nervous, Howie? Well, yeah. Don't be nervous. It's just the life of my only friend and sole source of income completely in your hands. <laughs> Round two. Here we go. We're going to stay with the odds in your favor. We're looking for another no dog box. One, three, or four. Which is it, Howie? One, three, or four does not contain Mr. Four, Piffles. Four, four. Four does not contain Mr. Four. Piffles. All right. Let's find out. Dog or no dog from box number four. I this time look. we're going to do it New York style. I can't. Oh. No! No! It's difficult to tell, Howie. No dog! <laughs> oh my god. Howie, you're killing it! Uh, Not literally, that would no, be bad. I don't want to. Don't Round want to. three! Oh my god. We're gonna change it up now, Howie. This oh. time we'd like you to tell us where Mr. Pibbles is. That's right, we're looking for is. a dog box. Is. Is Mr. Pibbles in number one or number three? Number one or number three? I swear I don't know. Take a guess, Howie. Chop, chop. Is three. Mr. Pibbles is in number three, which means number one is no, as another no dog box. Let's find out. Number one. Give me the sunshine, please bring on the wood chipper of destiny. All right, Howie, stand up, stand up, stand up. All right. This time the responsibility is in you. Step over the cable. Yeah. Lovely. You're going to take full responsibility for this, legally speaking. We'd like you to flip that switch. This is a wood chipper. Flip it. Come on. Lovely. All right, let's find out. Dog or no dog for oh, box no. number one. No dog. Probably. Which means Mr. Piffles is in box number three.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What? That's it? What? Yeah, what? He's, he's safe and sound in number three, so. How do we... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do we have a doubting Howie here? No problem, Howie. No problem. Allow me to prove it. Come on, Mr. Pibbles. Come on. Come on. Let's get you down from there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Release. Come on, Mr. Piffles. Shh, he's probably asleep, Howie. Come on, Mr. Piffles. Ladies and gentlemen, inside box number three, I think we should find little Mr. Piffles. Oh! Hit the can magic go, dragon! Howie Mandel, ladies and gentlemen! Can I go back to my seat? Yes, you can here. go back to your seat, Howie, can with your marshmallows. Be careful. Production. Shut. I don't need all that production. Tonight it's just me and my little case. <laughs> just the way Heidi likes it. <laughs> Look, I've even left Mr. Piffles at home back in Las Vegas. Hi, Mr. Piffles. There he is. Little Mr. Piffles. Hi, Mr. Piffles. Heidi. Yes. He's not actually in the screen. Ah, oh, thanks for it's explaining. It's magic. Thanks for explaining. <laughs> All right, let's crack on. So we've got Piff's magic bread. This is for you, Howie, please. That's it. I'd like two slices of the old magic bread. Two slices. Take them out. All right. Lovely. We've also got Piff's magic box. <laughs> what? It's Piff's magic box. There we go. We're going to put this down there. We're going to plug Piff's magic box into Piff's magic electricity supply. Otherwise, it's not really magic. There we go. We're going to set the level of magic. Level seven magic. Maximum magic. Oh, That's right. it. I'd like the toast. With. That's it, the bread. That's it. Pop that in there and in there. And now I'm going to warm up the bread using my natural dragon fire. <laughs> <laughs> natural dragon fire takes about two minutes. So, <laughs> what's going on, guys? <laughs> oh, Howie, you just got a little hair on your shoulder. You want to get rid of that? It's disgusting. It's not very hygienic. I get it for you. Come here. There you go, oh, Howie! There we go. You can have him as a present, it's just $8. God. Vanish! Wow, wow. brutal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do a card trick. <laughs> oh. Mel, you're going to say stop. What are you going to say, Mel? Stop. Here we go. Stop. Just there, lovely. Let's take. Now that's for later, not for now. Okay. No looking, right? Okay. For later. Car magic is my favourite kind of magic because car magic is the purest kind of magic. And to me, magic is all about purity. I mean, sure. Sometimes I think what I need is a gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, you're gonna say stop. What are you gonna say? Stop. Here we go. Stop. Just there. Everybody remember Heidi's card? Uh -huh. Yeah. If you're up at the top, it's the seven of diamonds. Uh -huh. That's gonna make it easier. All right, little magic trick for the audience at home. Vanish. <laughs> Moving on. Howard, you're going to name any one of these playing cards. Could literally be any one of the cards. Go for anyone. I'm going to name a card. You're going to name a card. Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs. Go ahead. Here we go. Ace of Clubs. Watch the Nine of Hearts. <laughs> oh, it's the Eight of Clubs. That was. That's good. Well, it's close. Yeah, it would have been a miracle, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a coffee break. Howie, how's the old magic bread getting on in there? Uh, I don't know. It's toasting? Yeah, it's hot. It's toasting? Yeah. Howard, I have, Howie, I have the magic coffee pot. <laughs> Here we go. The magic <laughs> coffee pot. Watch the magic bread. Whoa. Wow. It just got real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mel. Turn over your card. Let's see what you got. Let's see what card Mel chose. Mel chose the, show everyone. Three of hearts. The three of hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, burn onto the bread. It's a heart. It's the three of hearts. <laughs> Howard, Howard, what card did you think of? I thought of the ace of clubs. The ace of clubs, here right. we go. Oh. Oh! Toast drop. I got dry toast mouth, can I? I got dry toast mouth. 
Go on. Better? Heidi, yes. do you remember what your card was? Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. Mr. Pivels is going to find a seven of diamonds all by himself. Mr. Pivels. All right, you ready, Mr. Pivels? Here we go, Mr. Pivels. Come on. <laughs> fetch. Fetch, Mr. Pivels. Fetch the card. Come on, get the card. Get it. Hang on a minute, I'll be back in a second. off the ground. Right, I am not leaving tonight without $8. Howie, $8, come on, come on. You've been teasing me all season, $8. I don't know that I And I want your name on it, that's it, I want your name. That's it, what you got? I have a 20. A 20, a 20 that's $8 after tax. Just, just write your name on it, that's it, come on. <laughs> write your name on it, that's gonna bump it up on eBay. <laughs> Lovely. Perfect. We're going to do a little magic trick with Howie's money. A very special magic trick. Watch. If we take it, we fold it in half. Right. In half. <laughs> Hopefully, it should start changing. <laughs> with some little blows from a mere $20. And to look at this, Howie, a genuine, a genuine <laughs> voucher for one free magic trick from me to you. And to perform Howie's magic trick, please welcome little Mr. Piffles to the stage. Come on, let's get Mr. Piffles out here. Oh! Wow. Oh. Hi, Mr. Piffles. Oh. All right, Mr. Piffles. Now, if Mr. Piffles performs Howie's magic trick correctly, he's going to win back his most treasured possession. Heidi, this is for you. That's it. Maybe you'd like to give uh, Mr. Piffles a little good luck charm. Do you have a ring I can have? That's it, a ring, just one of these rings. That's yep. it, take it off, yep, very nice. There you go. Lovely, very good. Okay, the good luck charm of Heidi. Ooh, real gold, all right. I'm gonna clip this on to Mr. Piffles. It's giving Mr. Piffles a little bit of good luck. It's quite a complicated ring, but we'll just clip it on just there. There we go, now Mr. Piffles has the luck of Heidi. Mr. Piffles, what magic trick would you like to perform tonight? Tonight, Heidi, he says he'd like to go out with a bang. Well, who am I to stand in the way of a dog in his dreams? Let's bring out the bang. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Pivot's favorite trick in the world. The world's first Chihuahua Cannonball Catch. Oh, who's a brave little soldier? Don't worry, Heidi, don't worry. It's perfectly safe. He's done this literally thousands of times because he's not a regular Chihuahua. He's a magic performing Chihuahua. Don't try this at home with a regular Chihuahua. That would be a terrible idea. Here's what's gonna happen. Mr. <laughs> Piffles will be shot out of this cannon. He's gonna hurtle across the stage. He's gonna ricochet off the trampoline of happiness. He's gonna perform three <laughs> somersaults before landing back the American way in the baseball glove of love. Oh, here we go. All right, let's set up for this. Positions, everyone. Three, two, one. Fire! Can we, can we cut to commercial? Well, no, we can't. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. Oh, he's totally okay, Heidi. He's just a little bit concussed. Come on, Mr. Piffles, come on. Come on, walk it off, walk it off. Come, oh, there we go, he's totally fine. <laughs> All right, Heidi, he's gonna do three somersaults. He's gonna land in my arms, you guys are gonna go crazy. Here we go, Mr. Piffles. One, two, three, hop. Oh, my goodness. He's drunk. <laughs> Can you believe this? This is unbelievable on live television. You know what, Heidi? Nobody loves a drunk chihuahua, do they? Come on, Mr. Piffles, come on. Come on. 
Come on, who's a good little boy? Heidi, please don't worry though, because it is after all, just a magic trick, he's totally okay. Oh, he's not really drunk, Heidi. He wouldn't drink on a show night. And look, Heidi, he even has a very familiar ring to him. Heidi, is that your ring? That is my ring. It is your ring, Mr. Piffles. Hi, Mr. Piffles. However, ladies and gentlemen, however, let's not get too excited here. Mr. Pivels did not perform the world's first cannibal catch as he was supposed to. So, Heidi, we must sacrifice the most treasured possessions. I'm going to take Mr. Pivels, open up the bag. We're going to pass this to Mel. Open up the bag, tip the contents into your hands. The contents into your hands. Lovely. And show everyone what they are. Oh, Mr. Pivels is nuts. Oh. <laughs> Lovely, Mr. Pivels. Do you remember those, Mr. Pivels? That was a dark day at the vets, wasn't it? Heidi, big one or the small one? Well, who doesn't like a big nut? I take oh the big my one. God. <laughs> I'm on the same page as you, Heidi. Watch very closely. Inside the walnuts, twenty dollars that somebody has to face. <laughs> oh, Howie! I'm going to take that. My name's Piff Magic Dragon. Have a great night. Good night. Piff the Magic Dragon.